Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I, I hope you had a wonderful week. In our Torah portion, Vayigash, Benjamin is about to be imprisoned for the rest of his life for having been accused of stealing Pharaoh's cup. And Judah selflessly sacrifices himself to take Benjamin's place. He stands up for what he believes to be right, for what he knows to be right, regardless of the cost that it will come and the sacrifice he has to make for himself. And the rabbis tell us that it's this very instance, Judah's selfless sacrifice in the name for what he knows to be true and what he, need, what he knows to be right, which is why the kingdom of Judah is the one that perseveres. That's why we became known as the Jewish people. And I can't help but be inspired by that moment and, and, and think about what is going on in the state of Israel. As there is continued to be mounting international pressure, both within the United States and abroad, a push for what is being called the ceasefire. And if we learn anything from our story, what it means to be Jewish is to stand up for what it, we know and what it means to be right even if it comes with great sacrifice, and even if it comes at a cost. And that's why it's an honor, it's an honor, it's a duty to be leading a mission for all of us with our fellow neighbors in, in Nassau County to the state of Israel, to show our brothers and sisters in Israel that we stand in solidarity with them. We appreciate the great sacrifice and cost they are paying to do what they believe, what we all know to be right. And I want to encourage each and everybody, if you have any questions, please do let me know. We'd love to have you on that mission. And together, as Jews, we continue to stand up for what we know to be true, what we believe to be right, regardless of cost or consequence. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.